Right, and, and that's one thing we like to do with our shows. We like to uh, let, make everybody feel welcome. We, at the beginning of each show, we come out and do the national anthem. All the, all the wrestlers come out, and we all pay tribute to our country. Um, and during the uh, benefit show, the Dimes for Dalton, Dalton's actually going to be in the ring with us when we do this. Right. Um, any, any time that a community needs help, they're more than welcome to contact us because we love helping communities because we like everybody to know that we're a different type of wrestling organization. We're not just out there to make money. We're not making anything hardly. I mean, we're, we're getting good crowds, but everything we're doing is for the communities and, and different things. We're, we're trying to help build a reputation where wrestling has such a bad name. Mm -hmm. We're trying to build up and be something different. You know, we don't have any competition as a wrestling organization because we're not like all the others. Exactly right. And, you know, so many wrestlers throughout the years, you know, well-known wrestlers have left this walk of life due to drugs. That's right. And, and that's one thing that we avoid. That's why we only allow wrestlers who are drug-free to step in our ring. And, you know, uh, Jonathan, and, and people has this persona that all wrestlers have to be drunks and they have to be a dope head. Yeah. Uh, that, that's totally wrong. Um, you know, uh, one of the great legends used to teach Sunday school that a lot of people don't know, Ron Wright. He was a Sunday school teacher. <laughs> the most hated man, though, whenever he came out to the ring, but people loved to hate him. Uh, you know, but yet he still taught Sunday school. Uh, you know, the Lord didn't save us uh, to dry up like a prune. Right. He made all this stuff, and he gave us all these things uh, to enjoy. And my daddy always said you could take anything and make it wrong. Uh, and you can, but you can also take anything and make it right. Exactly. And, you know, this takes such a dedication because you just don't go in and do a little uh, program and go home. These guys live and breathe this. You know, this is an everyday lifestyle for them. How many, uh, just as an average, how many wrestlers have you got right now? Right now we have on average um, 10 to 15. Mm -hmm. uh, and we have, I would say, another 5 that we can, five to 10 that we can call at any time that would come and appear. That's great. And these guys are all professional. They've been trained professional. And there are hazards at, uh, you know, risk times. Uh, they can have injuries. They can get hurt and things like that. It's more than just a, a show. This is, you've got to be very careful. Right. And what we do is more contact than what you see in most places. I mean, our shows are more action-packed. We mm -hmm. have we, we don't do a lot of the flying like a lot of these other shows you go to do. Right. We're more of the traditional Memphis-style wrestling. We bring back what used to be. Right. And that, that attracts people because it's not what you can see on TV. It's not the – we don't have any of the fancy effects like TV has. Right. We have just the old southern vibe of professional wrestling and these kids don't need to be trying these moves out on their friends at school or nothing like that right uh, because they're they are very dangerous i've had my shoulder broke i've had my elbows broke my knees been knocked up into my leg mm. uh, i about hurt my son i about broke his back one night mm. uh over in middlesbrough doing a stunt and that's what this is is stunts mm -hmm. uh you know we we've really been trained hard and 